everyone and welcome back to another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen. I'm Cindy. Hey. Behind the camera is my son Michael and this is my small kitchen and as you can see the puppy, this Ginger right there. Ginger, stay out of the camera. I'll come on with mama so everybody can see your long long nails. Look at that, look at that. She, he, we have been taking her to the uh, to the vet and uh, into the salon and Ginger will not let anybody cut her nails. And somehow they can't even like put their thing on. She freaks out. So she's a mama's dog. So anyway, guys, today, let me stop talking about the dogs. And today we're going to make um, some, uh, these are boneless pork chops. And as you can see, they're very thick in size. So what we're going to do is, you see, it cost me $10.63, which is a great price. So what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to take these out and one by one. I'm gonna put them in this water, in this pot that you see here. Okay, not gonna tell you yet what we're doing, but this is the pork chops. So I'm putting them right down there. And then I guess the other three right on the top. And okay, so I'm gonna tell you now. So what we're gonna be doing, guys, is we're gonna be brining our boneless pork chops. Now what brining means is just putting water, I talk, one full uh, thing of water of this and you want to cover it you want to cover it until you see you cover all the meat like that now what you do is what you're gonna do you're gonna season that with usually brining is only salt and pepper and but then a lot of people like to put like different flavors accordingly what they want it for the food to taste or not so what i'm doing is i'm making kind of like a rub i put salt garlic powder i'm gonna put a little bit more of salt guys and we're gonna put black pepper hey eh? like that and then i'm gonna take a little fork or a fork whatever you want i'm gonna mix it all up because what brining means you put the meat inside the water usually when you're gonna like sear it sear it and then put it in the oven so it doesn't teddy what's the problem you're barking so it doesn't um so it cooks all the way and it stays nice and juicy on the inside, but then at the same time, um, nice and crispy on the outside. So what we're gonna do is, as you can see, this is, so this is brine uh, water that I put here with salt, pepper, and a garlic powder. I'm just gonna taste a little bit of the thing because I have to make sure that it has enough seasoning. Okay, so I'm gonna put a little bit more of salt so you can see, I'm just gonna pour it in there, okay? And we're going to have this water in like this. And I'm going to take these three limes that I have here, guys. And we're going to squeeze that, okay, for citrus on those boneless pork shop, thick pork shops that we have there. Let me get my squeezer. There it is. And we're going to be squeezing this into that water. Because what we're going to do, we're going to refrigerate that. Oh, and by the way, guys, you can brine, like, for the next day. Like, you can do this right now, and you can brine all your meat, you see? And you can put it in the fridge. You can put hot sauce if you want in there. You can put uh, chili powder, anything how you want your meat to taste. I like just the basic, which is salt, pepper, and garlic. And I'm putting this because I don't want to use anything for... Um, because I don't want to use any uh, vinegar or citrus. I don't want to use no pickle juice, limes, because this is perfect. Now, I'm going to go like that with the thing. I just want to taste. Wow, that is absolutely perfect. So what we're going to do, guys, I'm going to put the lid on it. This is going to go in the refrigerator for, hold on, Michael, excuse me. Excuse me. I just want to make sure that they're all in the bottom. Sorry, guys. They're on the bottom like that, you see? So, they all get nice, you know? And that water gets in there with that flavor. And then we're gonna sear it and finish it in the oven, okay? So I'm gonna, we're gonna refrigerate that, guys. I'm gonna put it right down there. And this is gonna sit here until, I say, like three o'clock this afternoon. It's almost 12 noon central time. And uh, yeah, so at three o'clock, I'm going to get them out. I'm going to have everything ready. We're going to sear them. I'm going to put them back in the pan. I'm going to throw them uh, in the oven. Okay, guys? And then I'm also going to do some kind of like glaze. I'm thinking about some apple glaze. Michael, what do you think? 
Oh yeah. We haven't showed anybody how to make it. Well, we can do a separate before. video. So we can we'll do a video about that, guys. But for now, right. let you guys go. Don't forget to subscribe. It's Saturday. It's the Fourth of July weekend. Don't drink and drive. We still have today and tomorrow left. And let's all just get along. Love you all. Thanks for watching. And welcome back to another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen. Or better yet said, is this is the episode of the uh, pork chops, of uh, the boneless pork chops that we uh, brine and salt, pepper and garlic powder uh, the day before yesterday. So these been brining for like 24 hours. We can say that, yes, 24 hours. And uh, what we're gonna do now, guys, so this is the conclusion of that uh, episode, okay? I said I was gonna brine them like for two, three hours, but we didn't, I ended up making something else. And it's uh, like, uh, I, I wanna let you guys know that the more we brine the meat, the better flavor is gonna have and the softer and more tender and juicy is gonna be. So the first thing after you take them out of the fridge, after putting it there, let it marinate for like between two hours, and uh, 24, 48 hours. As you can, you can see it, see how it is? So what we're gonna do now, guys, we're gonna come over here, okay? That's just a little speckle. I put that on, and I'm gonna sear all this pork, okay? I'm gonna sear it. That means I'm gonna put it like this. It's on high over there, and I want it to like, uh, a, like a uh, um, color, on this on each side like nice and brown so when we finish it in the oven and when we cut it it'll be nice and crispy on the outside but juicy on the inside because as you can see look how thick these pieces are but we're gonna fit it all in there okay i have one more piece to go here we go mm -hmm. this is me doing this and it's on high so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna brown i'm gonna let you guys go and when they start browning we'll be back Okay, as soon as they start browning, we'll uh, flip it together. And uh, while I do that, you guys go ahead and subscribe to my channel, okay? And then look us up on Instagram, on Facebook, on YouTube, on Twitter. Anywhere you guys want to look, find us. And also, if you want to donate a dollar to $100, just go right down and scroll down and click on um, Patreon.com. We'll take you directly to the site, and you can donate whatever you want. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go, and I'll see you guys like in a... Less than five minutes and we'll flip these together, okay? Thanks for watching. So what I did was, while you guys were away, I put my onion powder, and as you can see on the top of each uh, 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 pork chop, you can see the yellow powder from the garlic. I just put a little bit to taste, okay guys? And then I went ahead and I took my cinnamon out, out of the food pantry. I took two sticks of that, you can see right there. I cracked them all nice and cracked. So what we're going to do now together, like I promised you guys, we are going to flip all these. Oh. It's still kind of like I can brown it, but huh? I think that's pretty good, right Mike? Oh yeah. So we're going to flip all these, and while I flip them, Michael, be careful, are you getting burned there, bud? No, just yeah, for the dog. Be careful, okay. So move the dog, Ginger and Teddy, get out of there, Ginger. Come on, Ginger. It's another one. I just lower it a little bit so they don't, uh, you know, burn. I don't want them to burn. Because we're going to finish these in the oven, like I told you guys. You see that? Wow. And they're coming out really nice. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to put those ones that still need a little bit more coating in the middle there. So when I turn them again, yes or no, Mike? Oh, yeah. We can put them in the oven. Now, after I turn them, I am going to take, you see these cinnamon sticks? I'm just going to put them like around like that, inside like in between the uh, the pork, you see? Just a little bit of cinnamon like that. And I was going to add some brown sugar also, guys, because I like a little brown sugar so I can make the glaze. So I'm, I lower it down here. And what I'm going to do, this is kind of like a different type of way of making these, but they're going to be very good, I promise you. Okay. So this is what I'm gonna do. Just like that. And all the Leo in between, because I just wanna make a glaze, because that same glaze, I'm gonna finish it. Okay, you don't have to do this if you don't want. I do prefer, because remember, we brine this meat for over 24 hours in salt, pepper, and garlic, okay? So all that water from the salt went inside the meat. 
So like to, uh, what we're doing, I'm trying to do is make like a, a, a glaze out of the sugar and uh, you see, and the oil that I had back there to brown the chicken, okay? So we're gonna put that, bring it back up again and I'm gonna take a little tiny bit of olive oil just like that guys because you know everything needs oil to cook you know and this is extra virgin olive oil which is a good thing you guys can look at it see there we go oh right here extra virgin olive oil okay so the next thing that we're going to do guys is we're going to be putting the meat right here okay soon we're going to transfer that meat we're going to put it over here we're going to put it in the oven which is already on 400 okay so as soon as this starts browning on each way, so we see all this finishing brownie, we're gonna put it in there, so I'm gonna let you guys go, and when we come back, we'll be putting all this meat together in the tray, okay guys? So thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe. I love you all. This is what I did. So I took a little bit of olive oil, and I put it in my baking pan here, okay? And with my brush, we're gonna put it all over the tray. That's right. Just like this. Yeah, and that piece of meat that you see over there jump from those. From that. So we're gonna start taking them like this and we're gonna light them up. Okay? We're gonna turn this off. We're gonna line all these beautiful. You can actually cut them open, guys, and uh, stuff them with cheese. You can stuff them with broccoli. You can put a little slit on the side. You can stuff them with anything you want. You can eat them just like we have and we're gonna serve them here. Just we're gonna finish them in the oven. Right, Mike? Oh, yeah. And then that olive oil. Be careful, Mike, okay? Because it might jump on you. Okay, I'm going to go like this. Don't do this if you don't have experience. I'm doing this because I know what I'm doing and I know how to handle a pan. So the rest of that oil that is there, I'm going to put it on top. See? Everybody's getting a little bit. That's right. Everybody getting a little wetness from that oil and then the cinnamon that is here I'm gonna spread it across yeah we're gonna spread it across the four shops oh doesn't look like there's gonna be enough to spread but here we go you have some there you have some there right Mike and they're kind of like stuck in the in the thing but here we go we're gonna put it in the oven Michael hold it on a second okay okay just move for a minute but I just want to put all these, you know, it should go, you know, around all this stuff. There you go. There's some right there. We don't have any. <laughs> they kind of like stick a little bit, but just be patient because they do come off. You know what I'm saying? When you see somebody else doing stuff like this, a lot of people, you get stressed out. And you're like, come on, hurry up, put it in there. But I know it's frustrating because it's frustrating for us cooks ourselves too. So they're gonna go in the oven and it's pork. So you know pork has to be 100% cooked. You know what I'm saying? For you to eat it. So we're gonna put it for one hour. Yes or no, Mike? We're gonna put bake for, let's see here. Oh, just look about that guy now. All right. I know. Okay, here you go. So that's one hour start, and we'll be, be back in an hour, and hopefully when we come back, I'm gonna keep an eye on it. Throughout, always when you're baking something, you know, guys, I have to go and check once in a while, because everybody's oven is different, and everybody ovens, for some, some reason, they bake differently. If you're gas, you're gonna bake things differently than when your oven is electric like mine. So the temperatures, they vary, and just the procedure and everything and everybody's ambient is different. So uh, just keep an eye on it. And with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. Don't drink and drive, happy Sunday. And uh, this is the last day for this long 4th of July weekend. So I'm gonna let you guys go, love you all, and see you in an hour. So we're back and we're still five minutes and 44 seconds behind, but I'm gonna be pulling it out. It looks to me like they're done. Oh yeah. So I'm gonna turn the oven off. And very carefully, I'm gonna pull the tray towards me. And we're gonna take these out, Michael, if you don't mind, move a little, please. Teddy, get out. Sorry, that was telling my dog to, you know, 
I'll do that. So I'm going to put it like this. And then I'm going to slice. This I'm going to take, we're going to take a piece out of there. And I'm going to slice it here. Which one do you think we should take? Oh my God, nothing there. They're all beautiful. And if you would have been here, I would have let you guys smell. You can smell the cinnamon. Yes, Michael? Oh yeah. Through the uh, things, you see how pretty they are? Just want to take one for a dad. Which one? This one? It doesn't matter, right? And I just want to cut it through. You want to come over here, Michael, so everybody can see when I'm cutting through. You think you can do it from there? Okay, he's doing it from there, guy, but I'm left-handed. That's why he told him to come on this side, but my son, Mike, is hard-headed. But it's okay. So this is what I'm going to do, guys. Just like that, slice it. You see? And uh, you can see that it's fully cooked. All of it. Wow, that looks so pretty. So what I'm going to do now, guys, is I'm going to serve that to my husband. Wait. Excuse me, Michael. Excuse me, I can go over there. With a bit of broccoli that I uh, cooked here in this pan with olive oil, garlic powder, salt and pepper. And then what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this meat right on top of that, just like that. Sorry. Now we got to fix it. Okay, that looks better. And then I'm going to put a little bit of this sauce that I made. This sauce consists of honey mustard, ketchup, a little bit of brown sugar, and a little bit of Worcestershire sauce. So what I did was I mixed all the ingredients together. And I'm going to take a little bit of that sauce with my spoon like this. And in between each slice of the pork... I'm gonna put some of this sauce across, okay? You wanna try a piece, Mike? This Michael is my uh, taster. Michael, say hi to the people. Well, I did, man. Oh, he's all mute and stuff today, guys. And um, that's gonna be it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take a little piece from here. So Beautiful. my son, Mike. Hey, Michael. So you can taste, look how pretty and glistening. See, look at this one. And I'm just gonna give a little piece to my son, Mike. Mm -hmm. Here you go, Mike. Here you go and taste. Here you go. Taste, Michael. I guess I'm gonna taste it. Why are you being like that today? I was taking a picture. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. taste with a real sauce. Magnifico. Like they say in my country. Magnificent. So you can come over here. So all the things, how they came out, as you can see them all, over here. You can see that they're nice and juicy. And that's the uh, oil from the fat of the chicken. And you can see the cinnamon. So I'm not gonna stir that in the plate because that's not served, but I put the cinnamon there. So the flavor of the cinnamon can infuse within the olive oil and inside the meat. So with that, I'm gonna let you guys go. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, on Twitter, on Facebook. You know what to do. If you wanna donate a dollar, just Click on the link below, patreon.com, and you can donate from a dollar, 20, 50, 100, or whatever you want. So with that, guys, I'm gonna let you guys go. And I hope you enjoy this plate as much as I enjoy making this with you. When you brine meat, it stays really nice and juicy and flavorful inside, and it's nice and calm from the outside, as you can see here. And as you can see, at that one that I just served over there. So I love you all. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you again later on this week with another episode of Cindy's Home Kitchen. Love you all. Have a great night.